to my youtube channel <coughs> it's a girl over here nikki back with another video as you can see i'm back to this location i, I actually like this background although it's less green at the moment because it's dry but see my chicken <laughs> anyway yeah so today i'm going to be doing i think a full face bit I'm not sure I'm not gonna go crazy with the eyes but I'm gonna do a full face beat and um, I'm trying to speak louder because I know there's a, there's a problem with my audio so mm, I'm going to be doing a full face beat as I tell you guys a story about how I got catfished in Tinder <laughs> yeah but hi puppy <laughs> my dog's sleeping but as of now I think I want to do my eyebrows of camera first because I've been struggling. I have been struggling. It's been a while since I shaved my eyebrows, so now it's really hard to do them. I always give up midway and just do like that. The last, I think, three times I've done my eyebrows. I gave up in the middle and just wiped it off and went on with my day. During the beginning of the corona period, I joined Tinder. So, um, <laughs> can't talk because of my small sister, but anyway, during the corona period, I joined um, Tinder because you know I was bored and I was in a lorry, so it was just you know. Oh, it was sweet nothing then because I was here and every everyone I was matching with is in Nairobi so um, I met this guy he went by the name Lewis um, he went by the name Lewis he started talking he was white he said he was here for business trip then corona happened the lockdown and everything so he got stuck in Kenya there are a lot of those people by the way during that time um, of course, I wasn't thinking, I was, I wasn't talking to Lewis and I was talking to a lot of guys, but you know, he was the one who caught my attention. He was like interesting, he was like we, he was really interesting, he was funny, he was someone I could just be free with, you know. Um, mm, like we had so much in common, Yanni. <laughs> we used to talk every day every day i'm telling you every day like every hour of the day until um yeah but i was still talking to these other guys but he was the one who got my interest so um i've talked to him for a couple of weeks now maybe like um three weeks maybe he almost knows everything not everything but like every detail like it was really like we'd send photos each and every day we'd um he'd send voice oh my god i'm telling you guys his voice his voice <laughs> and it was in this normal accent so i was i was kind of wondering where he was from but he said he was from texas <laughs> I'm going to do a simple look. So this guy, um, it's been a couple of weeks now, and I started getting excited. Eh? I met someone. It was even like we were both even Nairobi was about to open up, and I was and we were to meet. <sighs> thank God! Thank God! Thank God! I, I'm telling you, that's God. So anyway, I call my cousin Belinda or Kosi some of you may know her um we're just talking on the phone there was like hey, by the way, i think i met this guy i think i've met yeah a nice guy he was like hey Ibu, let me see him like, I'm like okay yeah he's whining anyway so this guy 
we had talked for like a while, like a long while. I was like. Hey, look at me like that. <laughs> So I was like, ah, this guy is really genuine, you know. This guy is, we used to, like, we used to talk every day, we used to send each other photos. <laughs> we used to send each other voice notes. I'm telling you, we'd do everything, but the one thing, ah, yes, that kazungu. <laughs> but the one thing that she did not do was, um, um, video, video call and you know people guys from tinder sometimes are very creepy they always like i met this other guy from i think from turkey he called like he used to video call me so much so randomly and uh, it was kind of weird you know these people who are obsessed with black girls yeah but this one no no mm -mm. no video call at all he didn't even ask for video call at any point all we did was send each other voice notes and photos and i'm telling you this guy is fine I'll, I'll actually just drop his photo right now if you like okay look at his photo you looked at it hmm? if you recognize this guy right now <laughs> just tell me in the comments before i even tell you who it is if you recognize this guy right now, tell he, tell me in the comments who it is. Cause <laughs> I was dumb, dumb. I was dumb, and I didn't even know. You know, that hurt. Actually, that hurt. So I I call Kusi. I call Kusi, and I and I'm telling her, oh, I'm with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm still in shock because we planned like I still have a whole conversation on my phone just archived because I'm like I really can't believe it no I, I, I just cannot believe it you know <laughs> I didn't even delete his numbers like no I this can't be true anyway so I call I mean yeah this guy we had we had plans with him when he when i get back to nairobi she so will go for dinner where she will go to where he's staying then she will show him around then he used to tell me how he's he's eaten mutura for the first time he'd get so excited he'd try talking swahili and he'd get so excited like i'd teach him swahili i he was so happy as in that type of really like as if we were in a relationship without even ever seeing each other telling you guys it hurt i was heartbroken by a man i've never met before <laughs> why did it have to be with a guy i actually like you know and i started really liking this guy like liking liking this guy so okay so the light is going so i call kusi we talk on the phone and I'm like, ah, I met this guy. He's like, hey, boy, no, you picture. show me his photo. I sent his photos, photos, because I had a lot. Like, he had nice hair, he had tattoos all over his body, he had a pier he had a nose ring. Oh. And then he used to tell me how he got his whole, a eh, whole. <laughs> the way uh, he used to tell me he got his whole arm in like a week, like continuously his whole sleeve I'm like hey that's impressive nini nini <laughs> like he tell me so many stories <laughs> about his body that is not his <laughs> so anyway I I sent Kusi his photos and his videos that I have I'm like this guy's really cute he had such a nice smile oh my god <laughs> like this guy is cute this guy is really nice i'm like hey, this guy is perfect 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 for who who is perfect 
<laughs> Actually, we were texting with Kosi, then she calls me after she sees those photos. She sees those photos. She's like, uh, "Babes, babes, babes, babes." At you need any? You to? Oh, his life is from Texas. At you? Um, I can it to me. I can to me. She sent me now his IG page. Now the real person IG page. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So his, I don't know what his name is. I'll, I'll try and. I'll get that screenshot and put his IG over here. He's apparently a famous YouTuber that I did not know about. That's how I got caught. I did not know about this YouTuber. And uh, that's how um <coughs> I got catfished. So I didn't actually believe it. We stayed on that call for a while. Though they called Cheryl. Uh, we're talking the three of us. I'm like, oh my god, I was so excited about this guy. And then to come and find out his catfish. Oh it's Thank you, Kosi. Thank you for doing that. Before I went back to Nairobi, the light is going. Thank you so much, baby girl. Cause I would have, like, w you know what would have happened if I actually went and met this person. Maybe that was the last time he'd hear from me. You know, you never know if he, if he's a kidnapper, if he's I don't know, he's trafficking black girls. Like, you never know who you'd see on the other side and i'm oh, actually boy, really glad thank you i'm actually really glad that um kosi showed me his real ig and you know everything before i went to nairobi um let me do contour and concealer anyway yeah so that was really scary that was really scary so I was like, okay, uh, how am I going to approach this guy now? How am I going to approach this guy? He's been lying to me this whole time, I don't even know. And you know, it's someone we've already connected emotionally and mentally and all that. But how am I going to confront this guy? I was like, okay. You know, and I was trying to do it in a way that, in a way he won't block me. Because I was like, okay, even though maybe, I was like, maybe this guy's afraid of, you know, showing his real face maybe he's insecure about how he looks but it's a guy I, I connected with emotionally i was like i really wanted to know the real you and like <laughs> so i was like okay l let me do this i texted him and asked him i sent a screenshot and asked i just plainly asked him why did you catfish me that's all i did he blocked me immediately immediately and i was like okay if this guy was a really good guy then um then he'd genuinely tell me, okay, I'm insecure about my body or how I look or how my face looks, you know. And I wasn't sure how I'm going to react to it. Nee, 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 nee. Like, I'd know if that guy was a genuine person, if he'd say something like that. But the fact that he blocked me is like, okay, this guy is truly up to something bad. And I'm just glad I got out of it when I did. So, you know what, I'm just going to use my brush again. So, yeah, he blocked me immediately. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? So, yeah, after that, um, I recently got back to... Uh, I got back to Tinder. Not recently, but I think it was like two months ago, maybe. I don't know. I got back to Tinder. So, you know, I'm just swiping and swiping and swiping. Thankfully, this time, Tinder has this... Um, has this verification thing so you have to take a photo of yourself a selfie like an actual real life selfie like a live one you know right now like that you have to take a selfie and it will verify with your other pictures on your tinder profile then it will it will have a verification tick if you know it's really you and if not you won't have so 
this time I wasn't matching with anyone who doesn't have a verification tick because it's like I'm not trying to go through that again, you know. But anyway, so I went, I was just swiping and swiping and swiping. And guess who I found? I found Mr. Catfish again, <laughs> again. Because, <laughs> of course, after he blocked me, he, you know, he in Tinder you can like unmatch someone, so I think he unmatched me. And then I found him again. I'm like, nigga, wait, are you still really, are you really just continuing to do this shit again? Like, what, what's wrong? What's wrong with you, you know? So I just did what I had to do. I just reported him to Tinder. I don't know if they did anything about it, but you know, I reported and just left it at that. Hopefully, he gets caught because I don't think he's a nice, genuine person anymore. He's still continuing to catch fish people. So, I hope he stops. Wherever you are, I hope you stop. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. So, guys, be careful in these dating sites. Just be careful. Um, you know what let me finish my makeup then i come and close out the video because this doesn't make sense i'm done with the story but i'm not done with my face you know <laughs> so let me finish up first okay guys you know, I'm done with my look, but all my lippies are in, in the house and it's getting dark. And I can't really show you guys the rest of my makeup, but I'm gonna show you the finished look in the house. Anyway, as I was saying, let me close out the video. Um, as I was saying, when you join this dating, online dating sites, um, just be careful, just make sure. Um, I think Tinder may, may be the best, I'm not sure about Bumble. Yeah, as you can see, I'm quite experienced in that area. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm not sure about Bumble and the rest, but maybe Tinder, I think now with the verification tick, it's a bit safer for you guys, and you'll get to see if someone is a real person, and they're just trying to catfish you, and you don't know what intentions they have with you, when you actually go, go ahead and meet this guy, so just be careful out there, make sure the person is verified, make sure... Um, you guys have a video call before you meet up yeah just be safe just be cautious cause you don't know what could have i don't know what could have happened to me you know the bad people out there oh i forgot the last step some setting spray They are, there are bad people out there and you never know what, what can happen to you. So just stay safe people, stay safe. And make sure the people you're meeting, you know, make sure you just met virtually before you meet physically. You, I think that's all I have to say today. You know, don't forget to comment. Don't forget, comment if you saw, if you know that guy, you know, comment please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and let me know if this has happened to you before let me know if i'm not the only one who's been catfished before taken for the fool <laughs> you know but i'm honestly grateful that i told Kosi about this guy because if i had went to nairobi and met this guy and i'm telling you we had plans we had plans but I'm grateful for Kusi for just being knowledgeable. Kusi Pisilis, I love you. Before I show you guys my look, just look at the moon. It's so damn bright. It's even that dark outside. It's been like this for like three days in a row. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful. I wish you could see it in real life. I love that.